Good day. I'm Alexis Martino. And I'm Mark Arturi, and welcome to STV News. Your topical solution to alleviate that burning desire for strange but true news. Sometimes it burns more than others. In today's <laughs> episode, we will discuss census protests, odd harassment claims, misjudgment of gas, not enough free love, toilet troubles, and bathing issues. This is STV News. British authorities threatened Ian Turnbull, age 63, with a fine in the equivalent of $1,530 in August because he refused to complete the mandatory census earlier this year. Turnbull, from Wales, was protesting that the government, intending to be progressively inclusive, made available census questionnaires in instructions in such languages as Urdu, Punjabi, and Tagalog, but not Welsh, one of Britain's native languages spoken by half a million citizens. A little oopsie on the part of the parliament there. <laughs> Chicago's WLS Radio reported that a man unnamed in this story filed a $600,000 lawsuit on September 2nd against the Grossinger City Autoplex, claiming that five employees had physically harassed him during business hours over a two-month period in 2009. Included was the man's claim that he had been given multiple wedgies, one of which was a hanging wedgie. I guess a factory rebate wouldn't suffice. Ooh, a hanging wedgie, that sounds painful. But listen to this. Pennsylvania State Republican Michael Sterla, an opponent of increased natural gas drilling in his district, warned in August that one effect of the drilling would be an increase of sexually transmitted diseases amongst the women folk. He said later that he had heard that from a hospital administrator. Oh, I guess he was mishearing something there. And a man named Nicholas Davis was arrested in a public park in Seattle in August while, according to a police officer, masturbating violently. The officer said Davis explained, there just isn't enough free love in Seattle. I don't know, is there another way to masturbate? I'm not sure. I don't know what to tell you about masturbation, but a 93-year-old woman was rescued by medics in Philadelphia in April after spending several days stuck in her own toilet. According to KYW-TV, she had to be carried out with a portion of the toilet still stuck tightly to her body. Oh boy. Alexis, masturbation is okay as long as it doesn't get out of hand. In Tooting, England, an unnamed senior was rescued by firefighters after he got his testicles caught in a shower seat in which he was sitting while bathing. Figure that one out. Now, we're a little short on redneck stories this week, so in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, instead of just wearing pink, here are some nicknames for breasts in alphabetical order. Angel cakes. Bazonkas. Cha-chas. Dumplings. Earmuffs. Bun bags. Goombas. Hot and tots. Itty bitty titties. Jibs. Knockers. Lactoids. Milkshakes. Nippaloons. Orbs. Pillows. Quiver humps. Roundies. Shakers. Tatas. U boats. Wobblers. Yabos. And last but not least, <laughs> Zeppelins. <laughs> I hope you're ready for our awesome Twitter Slam. Get yourselves ready for Tuesday's top trending Twitter topics right now. <laughs> when I was 14, all I wanted was Mary Meeker for Hanukkah. Fortunately, that phase only lasted two weeks. Now, if you want to impress me, show me George St. Pierre knocking out Shia LaBeouf. I was at the House of Blues the other night, and I saw someone who looked just like Tyson Beckford. I said to myself, it's got to be you. Maybe it was just Halloween. Darla Day is down in Indiana for the Covered Bridge Festival with all the other old ladies, so please enjoy these outtakes. This is for you, Patty Hearst. Thank you. Thank what you do you mean this is wrong? It's a martini and a pill on top of an American flag. Do you know how many people fought for that right so I could do this? Empty! Where's my drink, bitch? You have a whole martini. Right? Alexis! <laughs> what do you mean she went home? Call her up and tell her I'm thirsty. I mean, this is some serious shit, people. Hi, I'm Alexis. I'm the host of STV News. Our guest this week is Darla Day. <laughs> Anyone can do your job, Alexis. Okay? Focus. Shut up, you're so much hoot. 
Oh, no. Oh, my goodness, no. And just as a reminder, our sports section has now been moved. Check out our YouTube channel for Barely Educated with Rolando Eloso Perez, <laughs> keeping us updated with the world of the Bears. Speaking of Rolando, our sports fanatic, he has entered a video in the Home Run In Halloween contest. Here's a sneak peek. He'd really appreciate your votes. Can't wait to enjoy this wonderful home run in pizza I've been waiting for all week. Oh my god, well, what the heck was that? No, not my pizza! No, no, no! Well, that's all for today's abnormally absurd news. It was a little abnormal today, even for <laughs> our standards. Remember, don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And check out our previous video posts on our YouTube page. Until next week, I'm Mark Arturi. And I'm Alexis Martino. And by the way, thanks, Mom, for the refreshments. Mrs. Stay sassy, M. people. This is some serious shit, people.